good day, mate, it's me. I live up in a gum tree. I'm a week along. Hey dragons, it's Miss Melina, and we are back with another crafting code story time. And this one features one of my very favorite animals, the koala. So we're actually going to read two books today. The first one is Don't Call Me Bear by Aaron Blavy. You might recognize that name because he writes the Pig the Pug series also. And the second book is The Koala Who Could. Now both of these books are being read with permission from Scholastic and will be deleted after 30 days. So the very first, Don't Call Me Bear. Here we go. Good day. My name is Warren, and I've got something to share. Just because I'm furry doesn't mean that I'm a bear. Bear, not a bear. I'll let you know how this all started. It's been going on for years. Captain Cook said, hey bear, those crazy pioneers. See, if they'd done their homework, then they'd know it wasn't true. Marsupials is what we are, and you should know that, too. But if I got a dollar every time you called me bear, I'll tell you what, and no mistake, I'd be a millionaire. Australia doesn't have bears, except some at the zoo. You'll find bears up in Canada and polar regions too. I don't live in the USA and can't catch fish in a stream. I'm not some 10 foot grizzly bear who makes the campers scream. So I've had a gutful and I'm sorry if I shout, I'm not a bear, I'm really not. And you need to sort it out. He looks a little upset. Kangaroos are kangaroos. You don't call emus chooks. A platypus is not a duck, even though that's how he looks. And it says in Australia, they call chickens chooks. But why am I so different, pal? What's your little game? Why am I the only mug you don't call by his name? Toy koala. Scratch, 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 bears. Why am I the only one in the entire bush? You may not be a bear mate, but you look like one, so... Shoosh! What a cute little bear. Yeah, bears are great. <laughs> looks a little upset. So, as we learned, koala bears are not bears at all. Koalas are marsupials. So our second book is one of my favorites because it talks a little bit about something that we call growth mindset and that's not giving up. So here we go, the koala who could. In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning, the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. Can you see our little friend Kevin? A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf run. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin likes sticking to what he needed best. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. So 
so he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when a wombat stopped by and shouted one day, hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. Nope, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? cried the ruse with a super loud cheer. Yes, why? called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who'd never been one to act fast, said, I've cleaning to do, but it's nice that you asked. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was so dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a word in the sand. I wonder what it could be. Tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tappity, tap, 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 tap. <gasps> oh no. What's gonna happen? Unclean, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go? No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh dear, I just can't. Whoomp. Down came the tree, and with it was bringing crash and a wallop, a Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and he was just fine. Well, he felt quite first class. So when Wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. I love that story because sometimes it's scary to try things that are unknown or that are new, but just like Kevin, even if things go wrong or if there's a mistake, we can always get back up, dust ourselves off and try again. So what we are going to do today is make our koalas with Google Slides and we are also going to make an Adobe Spark post to let people know how they can help real life koalas in Australia. Stay tuned. All right, dragons, today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a koala using the shapes in Google Slides. So if you did the pigeon video, this is gonna be very similar, but it has just a few more steps. So the first thing we want to do is add a background and we're going to go to background and then choose image and I put in eucalyptus tree because that is where koala spend the most of their time. So you can choose that or something different. 
So you're going to select one and then click insert and done. And now we have our background. So we're going to start on our koala. So the very first thing we're going to do is start by making our koala's head. So we're going to come up to shapes and then choose a circle and we'll draw a circle and we can pull it to make it a little more round and I'm going to choose a color that is kind of dark gray and then I'm going to go and click on transparent because I don't want lines around my circle and then I'll have a gray circle. So what I want you to do next is to hit control C or go up to edit and then click copy. And you're going to make another circle by doing that. And then I want you to take this circle and I want you to make it a lighter gray color. So you're going to have two circles kind of stacked up on top of each other just like this. Okay. Then I want you to draw another circle and this one is going to have a little bit more of an oval shape. We're going to make his body make it a little skinnier we're going to pull it off the page just a little so that it shows all the way to the bottom and I think we will make this one a little darker kind of like our darker circle right here so go up to the paint can click on that darker circle and then the same thing we did before you're going to click on your little circle go to edit copy and then edit paste to make another one and you're going to make this one that same lighter color gray and we're going to make it a little skinnier to fit inside of there now we don't want these to show on top of our face so you're going to click on the first circle then click on the one behind it then go to arrange order and then send to back okay so then we'll have our koala and his little body. And I'm gonna make it a little longer. There we go. All right, so now that we have our koala's head and we have his body, we're gonna add some little ears. So go back up to the shape and then click on the circle and then draw a nice little circle. And we are going to make this an even darker gray. And then we're going to go and we're going to draw another circle. On the inside. And we are going to make this the lighter colored gray. Change this little pencil. So that we don't have a background check I don't think I did that on this one so change that one too and then we're gonna add the little kind of fluffy hair that's inside of a koala's ear so we're gonna go back up to our shapes we're gonna go to call outs and then we're gonna take that first one draw shape and change it to a light gray with no border and then we will stick him right kind of in the middle of our ear so kind of like our body we don't want all of this stuff to be in the very front so we're going to click on the hair and then the two circle parts of the ear 
Then we're going to come up to arrange and group all those together. And then we're going to go to order and send them to the back. Since they're still all connected, I'm going to go to edit and copy and then paste so that I have another ear for over here. And then I'll just spin that guy around so that I have him turn the right way. Then I'll go to arrange order and send to back. And you can use your little arrow keys to get him right where you want him. So I'm going to add some hair and I'm going to use that same shape that I used on the ears. So go up to shapes and then call out. You can do that first explosion. I'm going to make him a little bigger. Change it to a light gray with no border. I think I might go actually dark gray and then go to arrange order and then send to back. So now he has some hair sticking up on top of his head. So now what's left to do is our koala's face. So we're going to go back up to shapes, circle, you're going to draw a circle and go to the paint can fill it in with black go to edit copy edit paste stick that other eye in there and then we need another circle to go in the middle for the whites of his eyes so you're going to go to circle and this one's going to be kind of a small one. Draw a circle and then click on white. And if you haven't tried it yet, I want you to go ahead and try hitting that control button and then C that's going to copy it and then hit control and V and that will paste it. Try that for the whites of your eyes. If you can't figure it out, you can always go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, use our arrow keys to get those eyes where we want them. And then we're going to add a nose for our koala's face. Now koalas have a pretty long nose. We're still going to use our circle tool, but we're going to make it more of an oval right there in between our eyes. We're gonna make it a darker gray, no border. And then we're going to do the last two little things that are our koala's mouth. So go back up to your circle tool, do another oval right here by your koala's face. Change it to light gray, no border. And then I want you to go to arrange order and then send backward. So that's just behind his nose. And then we're gonna add our koala smile. So go to shape, then go to this little tiny thing, it's called an arc. We're going to draw a smile. We want our smile to be black and a little thicker than this. So we're going to go up here to line weight, go to eight. And then you're going to use this little circle to spin your smile. And then use your arrow key to put it where you'd like for it to go. And when you're finished, you'll have your koala in a eucalyptus tree. And you can hit present to see your work in full screen. I can't wait to see what you create.
right, Dragon. So the other part of our lesson is to create something using Adobe Spark. So you're going to use Adobe Spark post to make a little square graphic like you would use on Instagram um, to tell people some sort of fact about the Australian bushfires. So I'm going to show you where you can get some information and also how to create your own graphic. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Adobe Spark. And when you get to Adobe Spark, you're going to get kind of a home page that looks like this. And I want you to click on Instagram post. And that just makes sure that it's a nice little square for us already. And then once you're here, you are going to scroll through the different types of templates to see if there is one that you like. So I chose this one. Now we're not going to use any of the stuff that's actually on this post. I just like this font. So you can do that or you can create yours from scratch. I'll show you how. So once it pulls in all the parts of my template, I'm going to get started kind of deleting some of this stuff. So I'm going to just click on it, the stuff that I don't want, and hit the backspace button. So I don't need any of this stuff. All right. So then I want to pull in an image for my background. So I'm going to come over and click on image and then find free photos. And you're going to type in koala. Choose whichever photo you like best. When you click on it, it's going to put it in the background of your post. And then you are going to write your message. So I deleted that bottom text box because I don't need it. So when you click on the text box, when you double click it, it'll give you a little box where you can edit it. So I'm going to type, save the koalas. And I think I want that in all caps. So I'm going to go back and type it that way. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to twist it around just a little and pull from this corner to make it a little smaller because I don't want it to cover up my cute little koala. And I'm going to put it down here in the corner. Now you can see that it's kind of hard to read because of this background. So what I'm going to do is go over to text effects. And I'm going to choose cutout or shadow and outline. Whichever one you want to use is fine. And I think that makes it nice and easy to read. So now I have my koala. I have save the koalas and now I need a fact. So I'm going to link this in the presentation. But you're going to go to the World Wildlife Federation website and you are going to pull some sort of fact that people may not know about the Australian bushfires and you are going to add it to your post. So I'll show you how to do that. So you are going to come over to add and then text and then I used a template. You can also just type your text, whichever one you want to do. I use the little circle and then you're going to double click and you're going to type your fact. So for example, the Australian bush fires lasted for over 240 days. I don't know if you guys knew this, but they just put the last one out at the very beginning of March. So it's a really long time. So now I have my little fact 
and I want it to match this down here. So I'm going to go to color and I think I want it to be black or white. I think white looks good. So now I'm going to pull it over to the edge and now I have my cute koala, my fact, and then I have saved the koalas. And what these are going to be used for, you're going to share them with me. And I will choose my top 10 favorites and post them to our Instagram with a link if people want to donate and help the Australian bushfires. So once you get it done how you like it, you're going to click on share and then invite and you are going to type in my email address which is j-e-m-l-l-i-n-a at oconeschools.org that way I can see your work. I can't wait to see what you create. 